Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, then welcome. My name's Christina, and on my channel, we talk all things beauty from my own experiences. So if you're looking for the best and most honest how-tos and reviews from a consumer's perspective, then make sure you subscribe to my channel, like this video, as well as leave any comments that you have for me down below. We are going to be doing another swatch and first impression slash review on another lipstick launch, which is the new Makeup by Mario Ultra Swatch lipsticks there are exactly 20 shades in the line I have seven here to share with you guys I just picked up a handful of them that I thought that I would enjoy before we get into it actually if you guys are interested make sure to follow me on Instagram I am on there a ton I have my personal influencer content Instagram as well as my photography Instagram which is what I do full-time I am a product photographer so if you're interested in stuff like that as well as in-depth reviews on more skincare and makeup and stuff, then make sure you follow that Instagram as well and I would highly, highly appreciate that. I was very excited to see that Makeup by Mario is coming out with some classic lipsticks and these are suede so they're supposed to look extra moisturizing and soft on the lips. I have my computer right here to read off the specs for you guys so I don't mess up anything. They are the most comfortable matte lip colors. They come in 20 gorgeous shades for all skin tones. The finish is a sophisticated full coverage matte lip color with suede like finish in one stroke effortlessly glides across your palette. It's a vegan formula and it has blur filter technology which which seems like a more common technology that we're seeing in the makeup industry. It seems like everything from foundation to lipsticks to primers everything has blur finish technology which is great. I mean, we all want to look airbrushed. I don't necessarily know how that works. If anyone does know how that works, leave it in the comments down below for me. And as always, Makeup by Mario is cruelty free and free from animal testing and it has the leaping bunny uh, symbol as well. So on the website, it's really handy because they list out the names of every shade as well as a really distinct description on each one which I always enjoy because it's very difficult for me to just look at a lipstick and decide what it looks like like what shades they are for instance I'm always like oh it's a mauvey brown pinky red <laughs> like never really makes sense so when I'm able to just reference this from the actual creators I always think that it's super super helpful we have just the traditional makeup by Mario packaging it's pretty standard it has his logo right here and it also says lips so I guess if you're keeping the packaging you're gonna be able to reference everything from lips to face to eyes so that's great, and it's also just simple and easy. Again, it's just like his standard white packaging, and it does have that magnetic closure on it, that little snap right there, which is also kind of interesting to me because when storing these, they're not gonna wanna sit right next to each other. If you can see right here, they are slightly trying to push away from each other. So I'll put it on the mirror. It's probably going to fall, but that's okay. Okay, so you can see right here. So they definitely are not going to be easy to store side by side. I mean, that's not a huge deal. If you have multiples and you have a large makeup collection, you're gonna have to separate them. To go through the shades that I bought, I have Alicia, which is described as a warm red shade. Next up, I have Annie, and Annie is going to be a mid-tone peachy rose shade. Then we have Sam. Sam is going to be the mid-tone pink nude in the collection. Now we have another red. This is Kiana, which is going to be a cool red. This is probably going to be the most universal red in the collection. Next is Brielle, a mid-tone mauvey pink. This one is definitely, in my opinion, cooler and much more mauve than, than Sam. Now we have Cam. Cam is gonna be the dirty peachy nude in the collection. And lastly, we have Kristen. And Kristen is a bright berry shade. You guys know I love my bright berries. And I will also leave arm swatches for you guys to reference as well. I'm really excited to see what this formulation feels like and looks like on the lips. So we will get started now. And also I wanted to note that some of these shades definitely are not shades that I would typically wear 
by themselves, I feel like I would have to wear a lip liner because they either pull a little more cool to me or they're just a lot lighter than what I normally would wear. So I grabbed two very universal lip liners that I could find in my collection that I feel like really make a lot of lipsticks more wearable in my case. And they are the NYX lip pencil in the shade Nude Truffle. And also from NYX, the Suede Matte Lip Liner in Cold Brew. And these are gonna be more brown shades and I feel like they just kind of melt lighter lipsticks into my lips a lot better so in addition to just regular lip swatches with just the lipsticks i'm also going to pair them with either one of these lip liners so you can kind of get a better understanding on what it might look like if it's like a finished lip so anyways let's go ahead and get started so the first shade i want to go in with is sam this is going to be that mid-tone pink nude that we talked about like i said they are a suede texture you can kind of see it on the bullet they look velvety and really, really soft and beautiful. I love these textures. I just, it's so satisfying seeing it in the bullet. However, sometimes with older formulations and stuff, they can definitely be patchy, but I have high hopes because I feel like blur-like technology has gotten better. I feel like you can really see that texture on the reds better. Okay, so going in with Sam first, and we're gonna look at this texture. First, first, first impression of these lipsticks. Let's go. Kinda, kinda break it in. That's really, really, really light. <laughs> okay. So that is one full swatch of the lipstick on my lips. It feels like a thicker formula right off the bat. It feels like you have a layer of lipstick on, which obviously is not bad because you do have a layer of lipstick on. This color, in my opinion, really washes me out. I wouldn't wear this just alone, so I will show you guys what that looks like with a lip liner. Because this is a lighter color, I feel like my lip lines are not quite being accentuated, but they're not being blurred. So I'm gonna show you guys a close up of this color right now. So you can kind of see it's not the most blurring because it is a matte, so keep that in mind. They are matte, so you're definitely going to see a little bit more lip line. I'm gonna pair this one with Nude Truffle, and I'm just gonna outline to kind of get this to a point where I feel like it would be more wearable to my taste. All right, so this is what it looks like with that lip liner. I feel like it really just gives it a little bit more depth rather than it just being flat on my lips right there. Still is very cool. I would say that this is going to be a lipstick that I would use as a topper on the center of my lips. I wouldn't necessarily put it on my entire lip, so I would top a darker lip liner just on the center, rub it in, and I feel like that would be the way to go for Sam. Next, we're gonna go in with Cam, and this is the Dirty Peachy Nude. And by the way, I don't know if you guys saw this post, but Mario actually named all of these shades after the people that work at Makeup by Mario, and he let them pick the shade that they wanted. So I just thought that was really cute and unique. I kind of like this. I feel like maybe if it was a little darker of a peach, I would really love this. Uh, it's a little light for me right now alone. And again, I'll pair it with a lip liner to just see what it looks like, but this is Cam. And I'll probably go in with that same nude truffle shade. And we're just gonna do the same thing that we did earlier. Okay, this is Cam with a lip liner. I actually really like this with a lip liner. I feel like it gives it really good warmth. So something I'm noticing right off the bat is you're gonna wanna make sure that you exfoliate your lips because you can kind of see in the swatches um, or at least I can tell when I'm putting these on my lips that it's kind of catching on the dry patches and I actually exfoliated last night. It's been about like, I don't know, maybe 24 hours now. It's a matte formula, it's a suede, so it's kind of expected, but I don't think it looks terrible. Honestly, the finish of it, the blur of it, the softness is really nice. All right, next is Brielle, the mid-tone mauve pink that I have here. So I don't typically like mauves on me because I feel like they get really gray, but this one doesn't look super gray. I like that, that is Brielle. All right, and with Brielle, I think I'm gonna do that cold brew lip liner to see what that looks like together. Ooh, that really elevated that lipstick. 
Okay, and this is with the cold brew lip liner. I actually really, really, really like the way that this one's looking. I feel like this is going to be such a beautiful winter shade. Now I have Annie, which is that mid-tone peachy rose. I actually think that this one is gonna be what I wanted Cam to be. Okay, yes, I really like this. I love the way that this kind of looks like not exactly a stain but not exactly a lipstick it kind of feels or it kind of looks like a hybrid of the two it gives you the softness that a stain would but more even coverage this shade definitely looks very blurring on my lips i feel like more than those lighter shades this one for sure gives me that blurring effect that is described on that website all right and just because let's do nude truffle with it Okay, and this is with the lip liner Nude Truffle. I don't feel like it's necessary, to be honest. Like, I feel like it definitely gave it a little bit of something, but I could probably wear this just by itself. Getting into the berry and the red, red, <laughs> the red shades. Let's do Alicia. Alicia is that warm red. Ooh, I'm really excited about this one. You guys know I love my orangey warm reds and I love my berries. Okay, but this red with this finish looks like a lip stain. It's like that classic blurred, like you have a filter on, but your lips are the only thing with a filter. <laughs> that is, that is gorgeous. I truly love this blurred suede finish on the lips with this color. I feel like it's super impactful and it's very, very sophisticated. Just everything I wanted it to be. Really happy about that. All right, now is Kiana, which is that cool red, probably going to be the most universal red in the collection. I put this on so bad. I think that these darker shades with this finish are definitely the way to go. Like they look sophisticated, they look beautiful. Even though it's messy, it still somehow looks great. In my opinion, I don't know. You guys tell me in the comments down below, but this is Kiana. Now that my lips are thoroughly stained, <laughs> Let's go in with that last shade, which is gonna be Kristen. Alrighty, this is Kristen. Kristen feels like a very just staple berry shade. Nothing we haven't seen before, to be honest, but it does definitely look really nice and soft on the lips. So if you're looking for a good matte berry shade, then this would be a really good option for you. All right, guys, those were all of the shades that I own. Let me know in the comments down below which ones were your favorite on me. I will put on this screen for you guys exactly my most favorite to my least favorite shades like I always do for you. Now that I understand the formulation and kind of how it looks on me personally, they have some really great brown shades in the collection. I think it's Fonda and Garth are the two that are like popping up in my head right now. And I wanna try those because I feel like definitely with this collection, if you wanna get the most out of that blurred, soft suede look on the lips, go for darker shades because that's where you're gonna get the most of that look. For $24, do I think these lipsticks are worth it. So the formulation and the finish on the lips, like I said, with the darker shades, I definitely think are really beautiful and go for those shades if you want something that's very unique. The shades themselves are not groundbreaking in my opinion, at least the ones that I chose. I feel like the browns would definitely be a different story. I feel like you could find other lipsticks that give you similar similar finishes not the same exact finish yeah i mean if you're a huge fan of mario or not even a huge fan if you're just a fan of his artistry i would say at least pick up one or two and have them in your collection and they would be beautiful they would wear amazingly through the holidays i feel like matte lips in the winter time and through the holidays are just so classic and beautiful if you guys like this video found it enjoyable or helpful please let me know by liking commenting and sharing for more videos like this one and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!